Now, if you're into motorcycles and you love being in the water, I've got something special for you. Soon you'll be able to indulge your throttle-twisting desires in a much more moist environment. Watch this. For motorcycle enthusiasts, there's nothing more sublime than leading your machine into a curve and then bringing on the power out of the turn. Now, wouldn't it be cool to experience the same thing on the three-quarters of the Earth's surface covered by water? Well, one Southern California company is introducing a personal watercraft that might just be the closest thing to riding a motorcycle on the water. You take turns like you're riding a motorcycle. The bike leans into turns because you're steering with the front, and that's what you're used to when you're riding a bicycle or when you're riding a motorcycle. The company is AquaJet, and their product is called the Jet Bike. It's a fusion of jet ski and motorcycle technology. The inventor, Jerry Weigert, was looking for a way to develop a personal watercraft that was capable of what he calls the three-dimensional quality of motorcycle riding. It's very narrow, so you sweep about 180 degrees. So you get this very three-dimensional in and out of the water, almost like a porpoise, and yet you, you, you get this lean like a Grand Prix motorcycle racer. One of the things that makes this craft unusual is that the handlebars control a front ski, which is linked to the rear nozzle for a form of dual steering. It is a perfect man-machine relationship. You're at one with the craft, you're at one with the water, and you have exceptional control. One clever engineering feat accomplished by AquaJet is the successful seaworthiness of such a narrow craft. Most things that float are rather wide so that they displace enough water to ride on top of it. But the jet bike was designed to look and feel like a motorcycle, narrow and sleek. The solution? Well, make it sink a little. It takes on water, and the water goes inside of the craft. That's what allows it to sink into the water. It actually puts the center of gravity of the bike below the water level, which makes it easy to balance. And then as you take off and go forward, momentum rushes that water out the back of the hull. And then the boat climbs to the, the bike climbs to the surface, and then you're riding on top of the water. It's almost like uh, like water skiing. Besides being stable, the jet bikes are being packaged with sufficient horsepower to lure serious jet ski diehards. If you're not ready for it, it'll throw you off the other side of the bike. I'm sure we'll see that soon. <laughs> I'll be eating water in a second. Do I look like I know what's going on? This 150 horsepower engine. Uh, that's about 1,300 cc's. is sitting in a craft that weighs about 285 pounds. So performance is extreme. The riding characteristics are extreme. This bike will do an honest 55, and our bigger bikes will do an excess of 60. And that's because they only weigh 200, 250 pounds on the smaller ones, and the larger ones about 300 pounds. But they carry as much as 150 horsepower. With restrictions on jet skis becoming ever more pervasive, there might be serious hurdles for the marketing of the jet bike. But hey, it's a big planet with lots of water. These cool water toys could make a big splash. Now, the Aqua Jets are going to run you between $7,500 and $9,000, depending on the model. And as fast as those sailed by, so did this show. It's all the time we have. From the studios of CNET, the computer network, I'm Ryan Seacrest. We'll see you next time here on The New Edge.